Good morning. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. My Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. <coughs> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory 
glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 
us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death amen Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of their mercy. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope, to thee do we cry for banished children of thee, to thee do we stand up our sides mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, O most gracious advocate, and eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, that we may be worthy to the promises of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that upon meditating on this mystery of the most holy mystery of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain, obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided, inspired by this confidence. I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the world incarnate, despise not my petition, but in your mercy, hear and answer it. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in all be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Saint, the Saint of the Holy by the power of God, trust us with all Satan, and all the other spirit of truth, all of our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us. on us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us.
Please stand. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to roll the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, read. Um, Amen. Are you okay? okay? The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communions of the Holy Spirit read, be with you. And with your spirit. Trust in God's mercy as we say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my, my thought and in my word in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, through my most greatly fall. Therefore, I ask this me a version, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Prepare our hearts. We pray, O Lord, our God by your divine power so that at the coming of Christ your Son we may be found worthy of the banquets of eternal life and merit to receive heavenly nourishment from his hands who live and reign for, with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God to whom we looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us, for the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. I shall, I shall live, live in the house in of the Lord, the Lord all the days of my life. 
He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. I shall live in the, in the house, house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus walked by the seas of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many authors. They placed them at his feet, and he healed them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mule speaking, the deformed make whole, the lame walking, and the blind able to see. And they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, for fear they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we ever get enough bread in this desert place? to satisfy such a crowd. Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaf and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over seven basket fuller. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are in the first week of this Advent season, preparing for the Lord come, waiting and alert and with the full expectation. And this Friday, that the first speak that will share with us about Advent season that will be after Mass this coming Friday, few more days. And I also, that Chad is here. I did not have time to talk with him yet, but I will ask him too. And the seminarian that also gave the reflection after Mass. And so, sorry, not talk with you, Chad, but be ready. If you're ready for tomorrow, you can do it tomorrow. We have the adoration and then have the reflection. So we have little more time for those who are able to that meditates upon the journey of this Advent. 
Today, the first reading from prophet, and you hear prophet Isaiah with the message of hope. And yet, today upon this mountain, the laws of hosts gather all people and that help them. And you know, all that first reading is wonderful. Prophet Isaiah gave us the sense of hope, and that is so powerful. The gospel today, too, yet all of those people who are sick, and yet during this time, many of our parishioners are sick. The disease of the virus, corona, that is quite very, you know, stressing out, and everyone scared and all the stuff. And yet, Jesus come and heal them. All those who are not able to speak, gave them back their speak, not able to see, gave them back to see, cripple, gave them back in whole, and yes, they able to thank God for all. And Jesus also pity on them, say, have something so we have to feed them. And the disciples say, no, we don't have anything around here at all to get things food in the desert play like this and say what you have seven loaves of bread and three fish and so Jesus took and looked up to heaven thanking God and then broke them up and passed out to the people they all ate satisfied collected seven baskets so that's the gospel we hear today. How powerful is that? Miracles happen every day if we pay attention. I find you, and we have the big church, and also that with the direction I always remind you, even in the short mass, oh, I don't have much time, and tell you that please be faithful to wear faith masks. Please be faithful to keep social distance six feet. I know many of us, we have it in here, but we ask you practicing it and, and do that. And don't run into so close. And I'm so sorry many times after Mass, I say hello and waiting for people and all go run to me. And I have to back out and back out. And I say, please, six feet. I'm sorry. But I say this to you that that the only way we stop stressing out the virus. And yet, please try to be respectful. And I also that know the Sakutin love to set up all things. I say, please, that this time, I just, you know, let the priest doing their set up, their chalice and all like that. So we don't have to touching it or let them set it up and so it is everything taught us the lesson that how that we care and love sometimes it's again our will and sometimes we want to do it we want to help but the thing is in helpful that we have to be careful and do it in the correct way love is tough and difficult and today, like Jesus say, feed them. The disciples, what? We cannot do this. Feed them. Find a way how to do it. How much you have? Seven loaves gave to me. We'll do it. And so Jesus did it in the very way of respectful. So we can do that. All the blessing we have those with us, that treasure, that blessing, so share that generously, and that we hear prophet Isaiah. Very soon we hear John the baptizer. Very soon we hear what Mary on the journey of preparing this Advent. May each one of us take time, help one another, changing the way that we always do it difficult. But change gave us the opportunity to grow, to rose in Christ and to appreciate and know that how much God loved us.
and call her in his way rather than our way. So please stand up so we offer to the Lord the prayer as we say them. For the church held close by the shepherd of Israel, that all will be open to receiving God's merciful love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are entrusted with positions of leadership, that they may govern with wisdom, prudence, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and their families, friends, and caregivers, that they know God's healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For this worshiping community, that we rouse ourselves to cling to God this Advent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of Khan Nguyen, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and for all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We ask you to bless upon the prayer we present to you. We ask you to bless upon all those who are our parishioner are sick, those who are dying, those family lost their loved one. Bless upon our parish during the challenging time. We still able to reaching out, care for your people, comfort one another in time of their need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this gift. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread. The bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hand, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the water and wine become the divinity and humanity of Christ who bless upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this, this breed. This, your goodness we have received. The wise we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hand. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, receive my sacrifice in human hearts. Lord, wash away my nukoti and bring me from my sins. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in secret mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and pray, O God, Almighty Father. 
for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For through the human race is divided by dissensions and discord. Yet we know that by testing us, you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your spirit, you move human hearts that enemy may speak to its author again. Adversary join hands, and people seek to meet together. By the working of your power, it come about, O oh Lord, that hatred is overcome by love. Revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is chained to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end, we acclaim um, holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the Word that brings salvation. The hands you extend to sinners, the, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sin, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that convert this at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death, and now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreated you, sanctify this gift by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whom command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set earth free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hand and gave you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hand, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the place of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, o Lord, and profess your 
resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us the flesh of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the bishops, and your entire people, just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son. So also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers, and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquets of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father who are in, in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, races, later, and peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously rent her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer is offer the sign of peace and love. Um, Lamb um, of God. Um, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not. That you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. 
my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you, never to permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another. Be with your people, Lord, send us your saving word, Jesus Christ, light of gladness. Come among us now, bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another, bring to the word of fear, the truth we long to hear, Jesus Christ, hope of ages, come to save us now. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may clean us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. Christ, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And uh, please, that. Um, LB, you know that you gave the presentation on Friday, right? We have been advertising, and then, so please be prepared on Friday. That will be the first uh, presentation of the Advent uh, uh, Retreat Day. And uh, Charles, are you ready to do it tomorrow or no, next week?
if you're able to that after mass and we have adoration yet about 10 or 15 minutes reflecting on land uh, i mean on not advent sorry and so and if you are here and make sure you sit in the same family you can sit in the same pew sorry keep saying it over and over but the governor and the people keep asking me Father, you have to keep doing that. So same family, you can sit in the pew, and different family, you have to be physical distance for six feet, and then all like that. We have the big church, so yeah, please, pressing out, and then we can continue to celebrate. And if we are not follow that, we're in trouble. So the Lord be with you. Then. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turn to me, O oh, turn to be saved, says the Lord, for I am God. There is no other none beside me I call your name I am God who comforts you who are you to be afraid of flesh that fades is made like the grass of the field soon to wither turn to me turn and be saved says the Lord for I am God there is no other none beside me I call your name